Hi guys, I just wanted to pop on. Um, this is take two because the first take was just not good. But <laughs> okay, so I'm here. Uh, I wanted to share something with you today. I um, have a spaghetti squash here that I am going to cook up because I made a nice little sauce with some zucchini and fresh tomatoes, a little basil, garlic, mint, sauteed with a little olive oil. Um, and I like to throw that on top of the spaghetti squash. So I opened up the spaghetti squash. It was sitting for maybe uh, like a couple of weeks, maybe two, three weeks. Um, and I, it's a little brown on the outside, but still yellow, still looks good if you see it. And I open it up and of course inside is the seeds with the, you know, the inside, um, what's it called, pulp, the pulp and the seeds. But when I looked inside, I was like, what the heck is that? And I saw these amazing sprouts. I was very perplexed by this. So I um, Googled it to find out what it, what it is. It's actually called viviparry. And viviparry is a premature sprouting of a seed inside of a fruit or a vegetable. Um, it happens with um, different species, so like squash, tomatoes, and peppers, strawberries, actually. Um, and I, as I Googled it, it said that it actually might be more nutritious for you. I guess sprouts can be very nutritious. So I don't want to waste any of this spaghetti squash, so I'm going to cook this up by roasting this. The seeds, you could do one of two things. You can roast them or you can actually refrigerate them for two weeks. It takes something out called the ADA out of it, and then you can actually plant these and let them grow. Um, so I'm going to roast those. Um, I'm actually going to use the seeds in the refrigerator and I'm going to try it. And then the sprouts, I'm actually going to saute them up with a little garlic. They say saute it up with a little garlic and oil. Um, almost like you're doing any kind of other vegetable or sprout. Um, so I really just wanted to pop on and share that with you today. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.